Hey everybody, I'm Coach Al Lyman with Pursuit Athletic Performance. Today I want to share some tips for the cyclists out there that are trying to build and maintain some bike fitness in the off season in the winter time. At this time of year with the temperatures and the snow on the ground, it makes it really hard to get out on our bikes. It's not even safe in many respects to be out there. What can you do as a cyclist to maintain some fitness and arrive in the springtime ready to go. I've got three major focus points and tips I'd like to share with you. Of course, first, let's talk about the indoor bike trainer. The indoor bike trainer is a really valuable tool because it'll allow you to ride in your basement or in your home, work on some pedaling drills, and get in some consistent and frequent riding. And without question, consistency and frequency is much more important than long, arduous rides. One really valuable pedaling drill to work on is high cadence spinning. The way you'd go about doing that is Put the bike into your easiest gear and practice pedaling at a really fast cadence. For you, it might start out at 90 RPMs, but you want to work progressively up toward 110 to 120 RPMs. This really builds good nervous system training for your cycling, and it's also a great aerobic workout. The other thing we can talk about are spin classes. Many of you wonder, is the spin class a good choice for me? And the answer is yes. When all else fails, jump into that spin class, try to set that spin bike up as closely as you can to your own bike, and you can get a good cardiovascular aerobic workout. Lastly, you can look at cross training as a way to really enhance your cycling. As with running, strength training is key. Do some body weight squats, certainly some functional, Strength training is going to be really valuable for you and of course strengthen and stabilize the core. That's so, so important. You can also cross train. Hiking, snowshoeing, and even cross country skiing, while they're not specific to cycling, are good aerobic activities and will help you when you get ready to jump on your bike and start to put the miles in in the spring. The bottom line is that there are many ways that you can maximize your overall fitness and strength and prepare to be a better cyclist when the weather warms and you're ready to put some miles on the road. Good luck with your off-season training.